Baada ya magavana kulalamikia kukwama kwa baadhi ya majukumu na miradi ya maendeleo kutokana na ukosefu wa fedha katika kaunti mbalimbali. Rais William Ruto leo hii ametia saini mswada wa kuongeza ufadhili kwa kaunti zote nchini ili kufanikisha maendeleo yao ya kila siku. Kwa sasa ufadhili wa bilioni 29 ukiwa tayari kutumika na kaunti katika sekta mbalimbali. Rais Ruto akisema ni jukumu la serikali kuu kuhakikisha kuwa ndoto ya ugatuzi inatimia. Now we have resources that will support our counties close to 29 billion shillings will be made available by this uh, piece of legislation that has now become law. It will support our counties to discharge their mandate, which is very clear in our constitution. And because the counties are carrying out mandate assigned to them by the constitution, and it is our responsibility to mobilize resources and support the counties, I must say that um, we continuously are working towards making sure that whenever we have resources, it is shared between the two levels of government equitably so that every level of government can discharge their responsibilities. Juma lililopita serikali za kaunti zilipata ufadhili wa bilioni 31 katika kufanikisha shughuli zao tofauti. Rais akiweka wazi kuwa Juma lijalo serikali kuu itaachilia ufadhili mwingine kwa serikali za ugatuzi huku akiwapongeza magavana kwa kuendelea kuweka mikakati ya kukusanya mapato zaidi. The week before we paid about 31 billion shillings to our counties. We are again planning in the next uh, week or two to pay another substantial amount of money again to support our counties for them to discharge their responsibilities. I'm also very happy that counties are beginning to also look at other avenues of raising resources. And I want to congratulate governors who are continuously increasing their own source of revenue funds. Katika kipindi cha miaka mitano ijayo serikali inapania kukata gharama ya uagizaji wa bidhaa tofauti ikiwemo sukari mafuta ya kupikia miongoni mwa nyingine kutoka bilioni tano hili likifanikishwa tu na ushirikiano baina ya serikali hizi mbili It is our commitment as a government that progressively the 500 billion Kenya shillings we use to import sugar wheat, maize, rice, edible oil, we will reduce it to zero in the next five years so that we can save on our foreign exchange. Aida Rais Ruto amewahimiza wakulima kote nchini kutumia vema mbolea ya ruzuku katika uzalishaji wa chakula ili kujikinga thidi ya ukosefu wa chakula na majanga yanaweza kutokea. And I want to ask our farmers as the fertilizer is made available let us use the seeds the fertilizer that has been made available for us to be able to grow food in our country because it is the only way we can get rid of the shame of hunger in our nation Fred Rikombua Undugu TV